Recognizing the shadows in a reference photo is tricky and in this video, I'll show you how I painted this cherry. Watch until the end to see my techniques for identifying the shadows and how I translate the cherry photo into a realistic watercolor painting. This video is great for beginners in watercolors and for aspiring artists who are challenged in painting shadows. First tip, study the reference photo to see where the light source is coming from. As per this photo, the main light source is the light from the ceiling. And there are two more lights on the sides as it's shown in the highlights. It looks like this photo has been taken from a professional studio. Number 2. I changed the filter of my reference photo to black and white for vivid to see the intensity of the darkness and lightness of the colors. You don't have to use any special apps. You can simply edit and change the filter on your phone. Number 3. I always study the reference photo and look at it using my phone. In this way, I can always zoom in and out to see the details of the photo. Unlike when the reference photo is printed in front of me, I can't see the smallest detail. Number 4. I sketch and color the drawing with just a pencil. This time, there's no color yet. Everything is in monochrome. This is a way that I can study the reference photo well to see the darkest and lightest area of the subject. If you find this video helpful, kindly tap the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so YouTube will let you know if I uploaded a new video. Number 5. I always paint the shadows first with underlying colors. In this case, I used yellow on the brightest areas and blue on the shadows. Underpainting can help to intensify the colors of the shadows and can help to have a natural shadow at the end of the painting process. Number 6. Use a darker color of the same shade as the shadows. When we look at the reference photos, we mostly see the shadows as black or gray. The secret is when we use darker colors of the same shade as for this painting, red. Our eyes perceive the dark colors as black or gray. Before we go to the next two tips, if you want to see the free full tutorial of this cherry, check the link in the description box and sign up for my newsletter to get updates for more tutorials with free outline drawings. Number 7. You can mix the same colors you've used to create gray on the cast shadows. At this point, we can paint the shadows gray or black. It depends on how the shadows show in the reference photo. Number 8. Your cast shadow should follow the shape of your subject. As per this cherry, the cherry is round, so the shadow is round as well. I hope you find this video helpful. I recommend watching this next video to help you more on your watercolor journey. Remember to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and tap the notification bell so YouTube will let you know if I uploaded a new video.